Okay, so we had a question from John in Norwich who'd read all our water quality posts that we put up on our shop Facebook page a little while back, and uh, he had a query on series on part one of the water quality series, which is a four-part series, and the first one we did on temperature and salinity. And he said that why do we recommend running at 28, 29 degrees centigrade when a lot of books and other sources recommend much lower temperatures? Um, it's quite a simple one, and that is because when the hobby started becoming a bit more mainstream back in the 70s and 80s and things, nobody really knew what temperature the sea was. Information was quite limited, nobody got to check anything. Um, everyone who was keeping marines had come across from tropicals, that was the temperature they recommended for tropical tanks at the time, and so that just copied across. Even though later they realised that if you keep them a lot of discus or Amazonian fish, then people started keeping those at 30 and Malawi's up at sort of 27, 28 and things like that. By then the information was quite entrenched in the marine hobby that you run at 24, 26, that kind of numbers. Um, and that hasn't really changed, but actually the sea's a lot warmer than you think. Most coral reefs in Indonesia are in the sort of 29 to 32 range. Um, Caribbean's a little bit cooler, but even there you're still looking at sort of 28 to 30, 31, something like that. When you get into the Red Sea, you're looking at 30 to up to about 34, and those numbers are at 10 metres of depth as well. It can sometimes be a little bit lower for deep water species, or those close to the drop-off where you get oceanic currents coming in. But even so, even though their temperatures may be a little bit lower for some of the year, they'll still easily be out of cope with 30 degrees. So, um, also by running at a higher temperature, running at 28 to 30 in that kind of range, the bacteria which process ammonia work much more efficiently, the bacteria which work, process nitrate work more, much more efficiently, it means your tanks are less likely to get an ammonia spike, and it's less likely to get nitrate problems and in turn algae problems and all that kind of thing. It just all works much better at that, the, the temperature because that is the temperature all of these things have evolved to live at. Um, if you want to check it yourself, you just go onto NASA's website and they have aerial photographs of the world with the average temperatures for each place. And you can see that all the areas where there's coral reefs, they're all around, predominantly around the 28 to 32 kind of range um, because that's the temperature that corals do best at. Um, and that's the temperature they grow at in the wild. There's some Australian reefs that are a bit cooler, once you get a little bit more southerly and easterly in the range, but uh, even there they, they can still hit those temperatures sometimes of the year. Also by running at a higher temperature you get less swinging temperature. So if you're trying to keep the temperature at 24, on a warm summer's day in the UK you might find your tank temperature rises at 3 or 4 degrees and that can cause a catastrophic problem for your tank as animals rapidly try to adjust to the temperature swing. If you're already running at 28, 29 degrees and you get air temperatures of that kind of 28, 29, your tank temperature will barely flinch and you won't get the problems. Where you see people saying that their tank has hit 28 and that's caused them to lose stuff, that's only because they're running too cold in the first place and it's the swing that does the damage, not the temperature. So if you're already running at sort of 28 to 30, even if your tank hits 31, 32, you know, you're going to be looking at a much smaller swing and it's unlikely to do much damage. Whereas if you're running at sort of 24 and you get up to those kind of temperatures, that can be quite catastrophic indeed. You do get a little bit less oxygen in the water at that temperature, but the difference is so minimal that you won't really, there's no real way of, of even noticing a difference. You're talking about a drop maybe for a saturation about 10.5 ppm down to about 10.4. We're talking about 1% difference in oxygen. That's not enough to be noticeable. And in any modern reef tank, there's so much water surface movement, the oxygen rapidly gets back into the water, so that's an issue either. So yeah, raise your temperature up to about 28. That way, if you have got any Caribbean or deep water species, they'll still be quite comfortable. It's enough to get the best out of all your bacteria, to reduce your algae, you get better growth on your fish, and everything will look a lot better for it.